Hello everyone. I couldn't help myself but to make this video on real estate and the long game and why people look at it way too short. Real estate's a long game. It can be a short game if you're flipping properties and making money. Um, that's good too. But I flip properties to get a certain amount of capital to invest in longer holds. Real estate doubles every 10 years. Your investment property, if yeah, there's a income property that you bought for 400,000 in 10 years is going to be worth eight. And then it's going to double again and double again. So in 30 years, my tenants will have paid off all my buildings. They'd have paid all the mortgages and paid for my lifestyle through cash flow. If you want to know more about it in my new book, hundred doors, you can find it on Amazon. Real estate's a long game. Play the long game or play the short game and the long game which is what I do, I do both. So right now the real estate market's going up. Way up, been going up for about four or five years now. Great. Some people get scared and stop, you know, and wait and watch. I do both. Some markets I watch, other markets I attack. Like me and my partners are in Cleveland, Ohio, or in Columbus and Akron and other places in the country because it makes more sense to invest there. Like it doesn't make a, a lot of sense unless you're gonna hold it really long uh, to invest in Southern California where I'm at right now, um, unless you can get a particular deal through your network um, where the cap rates actually make sense. Most of the deals I look at here in Southern California, your cap rates are two and a half, three, three and a half, four if you're lucky. So those aren't good. So I go to other states where I'm gonna hold the property hopefully for as long as I live. And it makes a lot of sense to buy there. I buy for cash flow. I buy for income, not appreciation. So I don't necessarily care if the property goes up in value all that quickly in certain areas, as long as my tenants are still covering my mortgage, covering my expenses and leaving a little bit left over for me, which is cash flow for me and my family is income. So it's really not that tricky. So the book I just mentioned, The 100 Doors, you can find it on Amazon, 100 Doors, Building Wealth Through Real Estate Cash Flow. I talk about the short and the long game, but the long game is the one where you're gonna get wealthy. Not kind of wealthy, a lot of wealthy, if you want. Or you can just become financially free. That's the game, become financially free. If your bills, all your bills, car, rent, mortgage, whatever, a little bit of fun here and there, some travel. If your total overhead's like five or $6,000 a month, there's no reason why you can't do this. And you might not be a multimillionaire, but you'll be free to work or not work. If something happens to your family, God forbid, you can work or not work. If something happens to your job you have, you can work or not work. You can do this whole thing on the side buy a property every five years and if you can't afford this certain area where you're at start educating yourself on going to other places and knowing what that looks like and what the risk looks like for you as an investor once you start understanding these numbers and this metrics you're probably gonna do what I did and wish you to started a lot earlier I just turned 40 this year and by the time I'm 65 Everything's gonna be paid for. I'm gonna do exactly what I wanted to do. My neighbor, who lives across the street from me, bought his house for $35,000 30 years ago. Now it's worth 1.6 million. He owns 12 properties all over by where I live that are all free and clear. And he's young, happy, goes plays tennis. And he's millions and millions of dollars in paid for real estate by his tenants. I'm not that smart, but I'm smart in certain areas uh, and real estate's one of them. So you make your money on the buy. I'm an acquisition specialist. I do crazy amounts of due diligence. I take what I do very seriously and I vet deals very deeply because I wanna make sure that these things make sense because when the deals completely make sense and you plug in your money and your tenants pay for your mortgage and you have the right property management team in place, the freedom is ridiculous. Ridiculous. 
I'm going to do what I've always wanted to do, which like I didn't want to be the kind of dad that would go to my kids' games on the weekends. I want to be the dad that can coach, that can take them to practice, that can pick them up from school, that can drop them off at school, that can leave work early, go have lunch with my wife, just whatever, <laughs> whatever I want to do. I want to go take my kids to Italy for a month with my wife. Okay. We put our th systems in place. She's got two companies she runs. Like, we, we just, like, you know, that she owns, we own, whatever. Like, we put the pieces in place and we go. Freedom. And it's not because, like, I've got a degree in economics from Harvard. I have a certificated degree in fire science from a local city college because I was going to be a fireman. And I have a uh, almost a full degree in viticulture and enology because I was going to be a winemaker because I was one of the youngest wine sommeliers at 21 years old. So uh, trust me, I'm a terrible student. D's and F's, C's if I was lucky my whole life. Um, got better grades in college a little bit, but that's only because I like some of the subjects. But it's not hard. You educate yourself, you figure it out, and you go. In a good market or a bad market. The best part about buying in a down market is you just get everything cheaper. But if the numbers make sense, they make sense. And you go. Go full gas. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. But make sure you get some good, sound financial advice, lenders, brokers, whoever you're going to go and, you know, trust with some, you know, big chunks of money and your future. Like I trusted myself and I paid a ridiculous amount of money for a bunch of mentors because I wanted it fast. I'm glad I did. I got to cut 10 years off of my journey and I did it in two, you know, years ago. I'm really glad I did because I got to get it in a very, you know, low market and I watched it all go up and I'm probably going to watch it dip a little bit when the market cracks but I don't care my tenants are still paying my mortgage and my expenses and everything else I might lose some equity I don't care I'm going to hold these for as long as I live so it doesn't matter to me so if you guys have any questions go over to YouTube Andy Dan Carter I'm putting a bunch of content over there um, you can check out my new book just came out on Amazon 100 Doors How to Invest in Real Estate for the long haul. And you can go to my website, andydancarter.com. Uh, you can look up uh, the little link there, 100 Doors, that's my investment company too, if you wanna learn more about that. And anything I can do to help, shoot me an email, andycarterrealty at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram at andydancarter and Facebook at Andy Dan Carter. Hope you are all well, and I will talk to you soon.